For the second time this year, a star football player for Hendersonville High School faces domestic violence charges. 17 year old Sean Rogers is accused of beating his girlfriend and was suspended from tonight's game. News 13's Mario Boone is live in Henderson County. Now, some people are saying that suspension is not enough, Mario. Yeah, the mother of Sean Rogers' ex girlfriend, the one he's accused of beating in January, says a one game suspension is a joke. By all accounts, 17-year-old Sean Rogers is an offensive beast on the football field. Last season, Rogers racked up 20 touchdowns for Hendersonville High Bearcats. Lately, though, number two, gaining a different type of notoriety, the kind that could land the prep star behind bars. For the second time since January, Rogers is accused of beating a female. Arrest warrants show this time Rogers is accused of using his fist to punch his latest girlfriend in the face, head, and leg. Warrants also say Rogers used a pillow to slam her head against a wall. School leaders suspended Rogers from tonight's game, a punishment the mother of the first girl Rogers was charged with beating blasted on Facebook. Brandy Blanton called the one-game suspension a joke and says what's it going to take for him to be off the team for good, killing one of these girls. Shame on HHS administration for not taking some type of action when this happened to my daughter. I went to Roger's home to get his side. He wasn't there, but his great-grandmother was. She's been texting him I don't know how many times wanting to get back with him. So I think if he heard her, she wouldn't want to go back with him. Domestic violence expert Laura Greenlee says treatment and legal action go hand in hand. Once violence has already occurred, we do need to make sure that the legal system is protecting the victim. Now, the principal of Hendersonville High issued a statement today telling me that he takes this matter seriously and he is looking into this. Now, charges in that January incident involving Rogers were dropped after he completed anger management classes. We're live in Hendersonville tonight. I'm Mario Boone, News 13.